Welcome to WICO Resiliency, Resiliency for Stronger Communities. I am your host, Michael McGregor, and let's talk about some important stuff. So um, today, December 4th, 2020, North Carolina just got hit with a potential um, assault or attack upon a power structure that has caused 40,000 individuals to go without power. North Carolina has instituted a curfew from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. They believe that someone shot um, a power transformer or something. I haven't dove deep into what's going on, but I do know that there is currently 40,000 individuals without power. So that's uh, the pressing matter right now. But what I want to talk to you about specifically today is <clears throat> you don't have enough food. And um, I know you got three months of food storage, you got a year of food storage. But you don't have enough. And what I mean by that is, if you're not gardening, if you're not raising um, livestock, you are on a ticking time bomb. Okay? Once you pop the lid on your first, um, what do you want to call it? Your first five gallon bucket of stored grain, as soon as you pop that lid, you have flipped the uh, the uh, hourglass. Those sands are dropping. That clock is now a ticking time bomb until starvation. Okay, I know it sounds scary, but it's something to think about. If all you have is food storage and you don't have gardening skills, you don't have animal husbandry skills. Um, if you basically, if you don't have food making food, it's a ticking time bomb. Unless you're going to be, you know, some shitbag, you know, walking around with a gun trying to steal grandpa's uh, moldy crackers. And that's only going to last so far. And then you're going to be doing the room temperature challenge. Uh, but I digress. Um, so last year, or I should say this year, um, growing season, I had a horrible turnout. And I know many of the uh, individuals within uh, my mutual assistance group, within the mutual assistance group I'm part of, um, they didn't have really good results either. Um, some of it was due to um, people not helping out enough within the family. Some had to do with the drought and their plants just got burned up. It was a learning experience. And what better time to actually learn about something when you still have a chance to, you know, to reproduce, to grow again, to get a second chance. Um, think about that. Did you have, did, was your garden plentiful enough that it would have carried you over until your next growing season? If not, you need to start stepping up. You need to start getting it put together because if all you're relying on is your food storage and only your storage without having livestock, sheep, cow, pigs, um, goats, and goats are horrible. Sorry. Um, if you like raising two year olds, fine, have goats. Um, they're sm they're stinky. They're smelly. They're escape artists. Um, they're a pain in the ass. They, they really are. Um, and the meat's not as good as, say, cow or sheep. Um, don't give me the, well, I'm going to hunt everything. Okay, let's think about this. Um, do you realize within the first six months of the Great Depression, almost every single deer, elk, um, rabbit, basically wild animal, was almost hunted to extinction? There's a lot more people now than there was during the Great Depression. Um, hunters, every time you go out, do you find something? Do you get a kill? Yeah, I thought not. Unless you go into, you know, one of those areas that have the, they just basically raise the deer so they're in a shooting range. I don't really call that hunting. Um, we have those few of those places here in Wyoming. It's like, that's not hunting. But I digress. You're not going to hunt your way to full bellies all the time. Does it help? Yes. Do you hunt? Yeah. Uh, can you hunt? Yes. Does it um, add to your food stores? Yes, but that should not be your only means. Okay. 
Um, you know, honest, honestly, if you were living in high populated urban areas, good luck. Um, I'm not going to mince words with that anymore. Um, it, it's, 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 it's not feasible in the long term. Um, as Pastor Joe says um, over at Viking Preparedness, there's two things that are going to kill you during a when the balloon pops. Starvation and people behaving badly. And when people are starving, they behave badly. So there you go. Um, but what are you doing right now? It is December 4th. What are you doing right now to plan your garden next year? Oh, well, that's, I have plenty of time. No, you don't. It's already December. You know, when I garden Mother's Day, my my crops are in the ground on Mother's Day. I start, you know, early budding inside the house before Mother's Day. Colorado uh, has been a little different. Usually we get that Mother's Day um, snowstorm lately. Um, so wait till after that. But usually Mother's Day is tomorrow. Your garden's got to be started by then. Um, do you have a greenhouse? Can you build a greenhouse in your yard? It doesn't take a lot. That can help protect your um, plants from drought. I mean, you can set up a greenhouse, run sprinkler line through it, have, hook it up to a regular hose and just turn on the water. There, you're wetting your plants every day. They're protected. Um, Colorado, though, if you have a greenhouse, have a way to um, actually like open it so the air, um, it doesn't turn like 400 degrees in there. So think about greenhouse building. Think about what you did wrong that you didn't get a good harvest. Because as I said, once you pop that lid off of your f first five gallon bucket of food stores, it's just a matter of time. You're going to run out. Okay? Something to think about. Um, other than that, that's all I have for tonight. I just wanted to talk about the ticking time bomb. Um, I want you to pay attention. I want you to remember, just because you have food stores does not mean that you're going to last um, 7, 8, 20 years. Your food stores are a year. You're going to last a year. Then you're going to slowly die of starvation. Don't put all your eggs in one basket thinking that, oh, I'm going to hunt. Cool. Hope you get something to feed your entire family every single time you go out. So with that, I'm Michael McGregor with Wyco Resiliency. And as always, watch your six, be safe. I'm out.